and welcome to my channel Crafty with V. In today's video I'm going to be harvesting some vegetables and fruit and also give you a tour of my garden and greenhouse. And at the end I'm going to show you how we cover our outdoor tomatoes to prepare it for the fall rains. So keep watching if you're interested in these topics and I'll take you along in my gardens. I've got two apple trees. This one over here has multiple varieties. I've already picked two varieties and this is the last one. And then I've got another apple tree behind it that you can't see. So I am just loaded with apples this year. That right there you guys on the arch is a kiwi and I have a male and a female so that they can produce fruit. got peas that I just planted a few weeks ago now that we don't have any more heat and this turned out to be my favorite squash I'm saving some of the seeds for next year in hopes that it will grow again and I'm so excited you guys my figs are in season so in the past I was picking them too early just when they were starting to turn purple and little did I know that you have to let them stay purple on the stem for a few weeks. You'll know that they're ripe when you squeeze them, they should be soft. This is a little side garden that I have and I've got some eggplants planted on this side and they've got beautiful purple flowers right now that are just getting ready to turn into eggplants. So I'm hoping that I can harvest a few before the rains come and the frost. So pretty. Then on the right hand side I've got a tomato plant that planted itself and then I've got some chamomile and little violas here that snuck in um, and then I've got some cat mints so it's kind of a little bit of an herb garden and I'm gonna pick these to make some tea and this whole path here is all of my herbs I've got oregano lemon balm catnip cat mint um, sage and rosemary this is my favorite garden this year I've got hot lips all colors and speedwell I've got a miniature azalea and a little maple tree in there and some mint mixed and it attracts the hummingbirds, the bees and the butterflies. I'm really happy with how this turned out.
lettuce. Some peas that are popping up. I'm gonna be using this plastic to cover the tomatoes temporarily. First, my hubby's building me a frame and it's just gonna be temporary. We'll take it down um, this winter and then we're gonna put the plastic over it and it's six millimeters, so it's pretty thick, but it still allows the sunshine to come through. And we have it tilted at an angle so the water can run off. And this side here is the side where most of the rain comes in, so we're bringing the plastic a little bit lower. This is the final look. We've got it all covered, and you can see the sun, sunshine goes in, and I put a little sign up top, tomato garden. I'm gonna leave the cover on for about a month. And this is the second tomato garden. So we built a little tiny lean-to with the plastic over it. So this is gonna be the final harvest of the day. Uh, the onions are all picked and I dried them. They've been drying outside for a few days so they're perfect to bring in. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. Let me know what your harvest looks like this year. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.